Good evening and welcome to the uh, May 10th, 2017 Planning Board meeting for the Town of Raymond. Uh, the board will come to order. The board does have a quorum and we'll start with roll call. Fisher? Sue Burke. Greg Foster. Ron O'Neill. Kyle Gancroft. Edward Crane. Welcome to the board, Ed. This is a uh, public proceeding, and unless the board specifically votes to go into executive session, you have the right to hear everything that is being said and to look at all of the exhibits that are presented. Please notify the chairman if you are unable to hear or to see. The board works from a published agenda and will be considering tonight's items in the following order. We have the minutes from the April 12th, 2017, uh, consideration of the uh, an application to fill a planning board vacancy. Um, and then old business, the uh, Patrick and Lori Kayer application, um, and a public hearing then scheduled for the dielectric um, application, followed by planning communications and adjournment. In each instance, the burden is upon the applicant to demonstrate compliance with the provisions of the applicable ordinances. After the board votes on the merits of each project application, it will prepare a written notice of decision. Generally speaking, appeals must be filed with the Superior Court within 30 days of this board's decision. Also, to be certain that you preserve your individual right to file any such appeal, you must be certain that this board records evidence of your participation this evening. All persons speaking, including representatives of the applicant and members of the public, are asked to stand. Um, state their name and address and affiliation with the project from the podium. Um, and all persons speaking shall address the chair. First order of business is the minutes from the April 12th, 2017 meeting. I move we approve the minutes of April 12th as presented. Any other discussion? Yeah, on page two, it's Mary has uh, Greg Sanford down. I think it's Bruce Sanford. Could be Bruce Foster. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a few middle names and really mess it up. So, where is yep. uh, Mid just Under waiver one, on Raymond Street Ordinance, section 4.2, plan section D, under that portion, it's about halfway down. Okay. Any other discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Those in one section. Uh, consideration for the application of the filling the planning board vacancy, Danielle Stumper, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Could you go up to the podium, please? Yes. We have only the list of 47 questions we need to ask you. It usually takes two hours. Hi, good evening, everyone. So, Danielle, um, first up, the planning board, we meet once a, once a month um, through review applications that come in. We sometimes, on the larger applications, we'll do site walks, which um, during the winter months and early spring, late fall type thing, or Saturday, yep. because of light. And other than that, we would be we try to get them in during the week if they are scheduled um, based upon the board being able to do it there. So it's kind of like it's not a specific time. Yeah. It could be done, obviously, before the next meeting. Okay. Um, so that's, do you have any questions for us, I guess, to start with? you know what you're volunteering for? No, yeah, I think I understand, so. So we, our job is to review the ordinances, apply the ordinances projects? Yeah. Sometimes the public doesn't always understand yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> the board have any questions? That, that was my only um, note. I, I appreciate the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm in your application. Yeah. Um, but again, our, our job is to apply ordinances, uh, regardless of personal opinion on the pro and con of a particular project. Right. Just sometimes, you know, it, it's not an easy job. So as long as that's clearly understood. Oh, absolutely. We want outcomes to be different, but that's not our job. Yeah. Okay. So then, you know, the process is that we will recommend you to the Board of Selectmen. Because usually that's the confusing part. You actually have to show up there 
um, at the selectmen meeting and they will actually appoint you. Okay. And once they appoint you, you go down to the town, you get sworn in, and then you're all set. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. When will that meeting be? When is the next, uh, what is our, <clears throat> Chris? Um, June. I'll let her know. I don't have my calendar on. Okay. Is it the second, 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 week second of June? Tuesday? Second Tuesday of June, most likely? Yeah. But if you were to email Chris, he'll let you know. Okay, perfect. Well, definitely let her know. Okay, thank you. All right, so is there a motion? I move that we recommend appointment to the planning board of D Danielle Stumper to the select board. Second. 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 Any other discussion? All those in favor? All right, our next uh, order of business is old business, the uh, signing uh, presentation and signing of the decisions for, and the mylar, signing of that. For Patrick and Maury Taylor's application. Uh, have all of the waiver requirements been fulfilled? The waiver requirements have been fulfilled. What are the outstanding conditions? Uh, phosphorus export treatment calculations uh, must be provided uh, for that driveway to lot two, Mr. Pandolfo, and the final construction of the hammerhead terminus must be the town of Friends. So, I mean, even though you approve that, um, there will be that conditional that permit will be issued until the conditions are met. So we would need a motion then for final approval. Yeah. I move we accept the findings of facts with oh, Mr. Chair. Well we had a public we gotta go through that was one of the items that we had left oh, over from last time. Hearing. It's not a public hearing, but we're gonna offer public comment with the abutters. <coughs> so we, 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 we did, did do that because remember the notifications didn't get out of time? Yeah. Yep. So we have to open this up for anybody who want, might want to call the comment just to... Oh, because we did average, we sent out, you're right. We did Thank you. All the others, so. Right. Okay. <coughs> so I will open um, the hearing up to any uh, comments from the public on the, um, on the application for the private drive. Okay. Say sure, you could, sure. you got to... <coughs> Uh, I'm the owner of lot two, the one that has the restrictions on the phosphorus. At the last meeting, we had a couple options uh, presented to the board regarding dealing with the phosphorus. The first one presented was to have a independent consultant out there, uh, essentially a wastewater engineer, to do a, a status of the road. Um, I did, having to go through the phosphorus point system, I brought my engineer out there anyway to start designing the system. I had him do a survey of the road and just a kind of a rough idea of um, an alternative to the point system I want to present to the board. Um, not being a stormwater engineer, I, I don't, don't really know the logistics of it, so I, I have some copies of, of a letter from the engineer proposing how we treat the phosphorus essentially at the hammerhead and the front of lot two. So if you guys want to read this, um, essentially, I'm looking to um, avoid doing the point standard for a cost efficiency point of view. Um, he has a terminus here of a, again, I don't know the, log the logistics of it, um, but I'm just looking for the board's opinion on maybe just an engineer's idea for the, for the hammerhead instead of having to conform to the point standard because there's a lot of uh, redundancies in the point standard that, that don't necessarily need to be taken, care, taken in account for the last just third of the road. Essentially, if, I, if you guys read this, you'll kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to present to you. Okay. Um, you don't, well, as a rule, I think what you can do, you can look at it. Obviously, this is dealing with one of the conditions. Right. 
So you've already voted potentially on that condition. Right. This would be more I think staff, but we could also look at for something other than the point system for what we allow in our ordinance. You look at it, that would mean you change your mind or anything. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, being designed by an engineer, I think it'll conform to whatever is in your ordinance. I mean, that's, at this point, my only concern would be that we don't, that we've approved the waiver based upon the point system. Correct. Um, if we're not going to use the point system, if we're using an alternative method, then we're going to have to have, then we have to modify the waiver. And we can't modify the waiver until we and if that is what you'd like to do, and I'm not saying that we can't do it, but if that is what you'd like to do, that's going to take another month, to the next month. another planning board meeting. Right. So that's so, I mean, you're the one that's most impacted. On this. All right. Well, I mean, in any case, I'd like to present this to you, and we'll look at it. If it comes to the next planning board meeting, that's fine. If in the interim I decide to just suck it up into the point system, it's going to be a little bit more of an expense to me. But, um, you know, I could be held back another month, and it might be beneficial for, for me, for you at least to see this and read it. Sure. If I if I want to bring it up to the next planning board meeting, that's on me. And if if not, I can just have my engineer design a phosphorus point system that would satisfy the contingency. Bring that to get my permit. If I um, almost almost all correct. Almost. So, <laughs> if if you do want after we approve tonight yeah. the project. You're locked into the, that point system. Right. If, if you're going to ask for, yeah, I guess that'd be okay. If you're going to ask it to be that modified, exactly. we'd have to bring the, the whole project would be back. So I have to, I have to reapply a whole new permit and everything, a whole new application uh, and everything. Uh, we'll give it. Probably. Probably. Yeah, we'll or an amendment. Right. And then to the, like, you have to pay for the application, that's probably going to... Yeah, it's probably not going to be worth it then. Alright, so it's not even worth it for me to... Well, I think well, just pass out the information. Yeah, pass it out. If, it, if it's worth it to you... I mean, if you really feel... If it's designed by an engineer, my guess is it's going to be acceptable. I've, I've learned a lot about the process. <laughs> and it's just going to be... I have to think and it certainly is in my best interest to avoid it. Um, so, the town of Rame is the only municipality in the state of Maine that adheres, that, that uses the proper point system? No, because we copied it from a couple other towns. Um, uh, the yeah. Yeah. So, I guess I'm just going to leave this. So, the decision basically is it's on me. It's on you. It's a monetary type thing. If you want to wait until the next planning board, you can take, continue the table. And you can decide and it wouldn't cost you anything. Do you want to do that? Or do you want to? No, I want you to approve it tonight. And if I want to change it, I will. You'll be able to apply the amendment. And after. Okay. All right. Okay. Are there any other comments? Right, then I will close the public comment section. <coughs> Would you like something back from us on this? Would that be helpful to you, or? Um, no, I don't think it's going to be particularly helpful. More so, my engineer. Um, no, concerning whether or not it's going, to, it would be acceptable or not. Oh yeah, that would be great if you guys, you know, absolutely. So that would be. So did we get? Did we look through it and see? <coughs> well, staff will. We haven't yeah. had a chance to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, 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 I'm not saying now. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be right now. All right, you take it down. Okay. All right, so let's can we'll move ahead then with the approval of on the back. So I've been doing a great job. What, 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 what are we approving? No. <laughs> so I move we uh, approve the application for Patrick and Lori Care as complete. Yep, and for private drive. For private drive with conditions <coughs> noted. Yep. Without any conditions. Is there a second? Second. 
Any other discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion pass. It's done. Um, and, and I got you down as an abstention because you weren't here for any of the discussion. Right. But so you can turn us. Yep. Now you can join in. <coughs> Sorry, I should have told you that. All right. Our um, our new business. So we have um, dielectric. Um, at the navigation position of 4800 square foot radio frequency testing shed to their existing facilities. I'll have them sign. Jim, do you want to give them a quick rundown? Yes, this is a uh, relatively simple application. Um, the applicant is to add a 4800 square foot building addition to the rear of the existing plant. It's about to locate it off Tower Road. My name is Audra Wrigley, and I'm with Build Architecture, representing Dielectric, located at 22 Tower Road. I um, believe pretty much he already covered everything. It's pretty straightforward, 4,800 square foot building located um, at the rear of their facility. Um, there's no additional impervious surface. Um, we're going to be uh, building on existing concrete drive with a retaining wall, um, and it's essentially going to be acting as a... Uh, garage for radio frequency testing. There'll be three garage bays, um, pretty simple wood frame structure. And we have requested uh, just three ordinance waivers, one for the proposed traffic circulation, um, one for the storm water management plan, and then the other one for the location of existing trails. Um, due to the nature of this particular project, um, I don't feel that any of those are really applicable um, for the extent of this project. I know we just have one condition, um, the catalog right. cuts and details for the lighting in the rear. Yeah, because it is a industrial mm -hmm. zone and there is a residential zone below it. Um, we just want to make sure that all the lights are fully cut off. Mm -hmm. We just want to see those right. Does anybody have any other questions, uh, general questions for you before I have the public hearing and we'll talk just more specifics about the application? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we'll get back to you. Great, <laughs> thank you. I'll now um, open the uh, public hearing for the dielectric. Um, is there anybody that would like to speak about the project? I think they would be able to get with a project that was the table. Oh, are you here? We certainly don't, I mean, we, we've never had this usually this big audience before, yes. so I can't imagine that you just kind of decided you had nothing else to do on Wednesday night. Um, are you here um, for the Cedar Lane application? You are. That application was pulled. So, well, tabled. Tabled. Pulled for tonight, tabled. So it will come back probably the next meeting. Do we know? Have any idea? No. We don't know. We don't know. There's some. Um, there's lots of legal issues that have to get settled first. Okay. How how many? Uh, I mean, when is the next meeting? How how often do you meet? Well, we meet once a month. Okay. Well, we don't know if they'll have the information to us within the next month. But, but it will be advertised again as a public hearing, right? But if you do, you will send us another notice, so we'll be back. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Um. It, 
Aren't there a lot of legal issues about it? I think uh, there's some as far as um, the road construction, as far as whether or not it's going across its property lines and right of ways. So I, I can't speak completely to it, but that's. But I know that there are some issues. I think the the lead issue, I'm just trying to do quickly, is the fact that uh, they have rights to access over and for utility purposes. But I don't believe they acquired the rights to improve uh, the road itself. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. the right. and they need to improve the road to meet the standards of the private road itself. So kind of got a no win here at this point. It was kind of a, I apologize you drove no, all the no. way up, yeah. but there was no way for us no, to notify no you in time. Do you mind us staying? At least we got some experience. No, no, no. So, we know what to say. You can also watch us on your local cable channel, too. This is nice and warm here. How about the other side? Do you guys have the same thing? Is there any question that we could answer for you right now? No? Okay. We do have this All right. letter, correct? Yeah, but it's not. Okay. Yeah. It's not like professional. Well, we're on dialectic. We're on dialectic. We're, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Here, you, you can read that into yeah. the record. Okay. So, so no one out there's no one that wants to speak to the um, dielectric, so we will close that public hearing. We do have one piece of correspondence that came in. Uh, what did I do with it? Would you like me to read it into the record? Sure, go ahead. Thank you, Sheila. We received a letter dated May 14, 2017. The text of the letter is, we'd like to oppose any further expansion of dielectric on their, quote, watershed properties, end quote, to both Panther and Thomas Ponds. There have only... They have been the only commercial business allowed to build on watershed properties. We understand they may have a so-called, quote, grandfather, end quote, standing, but that does not include a new expansion. As it is, we listen to backup bells and noise all day long, trailer trucks roaring by and excessive traffic caused by ingress, egress to the facility. This area is not a place where commercial property should be in the first place. If the town of Raymond would not approve such a facility being built today at this location, then how do you rationalize further expansion? Respectfully, Brian and Terry Cross, 215 Meadow Road, Raymond. All right. Just to reiterate, Mr. Chairman, that property is zoned uh, industrial, so it is allowed use and expansion is allowed. Um, whether or not you have concerns about the noise, that's that's another issue. But the use itself is allowed, and the zone is correct. Thanks, Jim. Is there any, are there any questions concerning that from the board? No. Okay. okay. All right. Then we will proceed with uh, going through the criteria of standards. Um, we're on uh, page 100. Uh, 140 is the uh, site plan review, and they're also, I think, um, on Jim's memo, follows right along with that. Yes, thanks. Yep, so you could use one or the other for explanation. I think uh, with the, the fact that we really are just, um, we're not really looking at waivers through these. I think we, we don't need to, we'll go blow by blow, but I don't think, um, so grab with the board, we won't do a motion blow by blow. Um, we'll just do one overall. Does that sound okay with everybody? Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll start with the preservation of landscaping, um, item A, uh, on the criteria standards. There is probably, there is, uh, there'll be no cutting of trees or visual in or impacts of public view, thereby no formal landscaping has been proposed. There is previously impervious, and therefore there's nothing addition, right? So I, I think we're all set mm -hmm. with that. Um, item B, the relation of proposed buildings to the environment. Staff feels that the 
uh, requirement has been met. Uh, I don't see anything mm -hmm. other than that. Is that be okay with that? Yep. yep. Uh, vehicular access, vehicular pedestrian access, so we remain unchanged. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? Okay, okay. Okay. Um, item D, parking and circulation. No additional parking is proposed as a facility or existed. Fine. Fine. Um, surface water drainage. No drainage plan has been required as a building addition is essentially displacing existing and purpose property. Purpose. Fine. Sound good? Yep. yep. Uh, what are we up to? Item F, utilities. It's only internal. Yep. Fine with that? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, IMG special features. No special features were discussed in the application. Fine. Storage area. Okay. Yeah. Exterior lighting, I think, is the first one where we have some concerns. We're just going to add the con yep. condition before uh, building permit, correct? Yeah. Audrey, uh, all right, there you are. <laughs> Um, lighting, we, um, we're kind of sensitive to lighting. Mm -hmm. We prefer to not to escape the property, mm -hmm. to be kind of, um, what's the word, shielded? Fully shielded. Kind fully of. shielded. Is that acceptable? Absolutely. I think we, I believe we noted a low cutoff fixtures, but I'll, I'll put yeah, something yeah, there was something okay. in there like that. All right. Uh, Merge vehicle access, I think is a non-issue. Yep. Uh, just get the landscaping. <laughs> Non issue, standard regulation, Article 9, ordinance, so you to approval. All right. Excellent. It's just kind of standards. I think we're all. Uh, we could go through those article standards, but do you see any reason to? I don't see anything that's. That no, is. there's okay. nothing. It doesn't get much simpler than this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is really good. You can go back again next time. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> so we do need to go, we do need, or it does need to conform to um, the Article 9 standards for other considerations, but I don't think we need to go through any of those. No, you sure you're okay with that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So the recommendations, uh, the only condition for approval is to consider the applicant will need to provide uh, catalog cuts. Or details of proposed lighting on the proposed additional plan um, for the issuance of the building permit, and I—that's it, right? That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Wow. The only thing I think that we are doing <coughs> is we're giving Danielle a really bad first <laughs> project. <laughs> view of actually how this thing goes. I know. Right? You yeah. just don't think that there's yeah. nothing to this. Yeah, exactly. It's just a piece of cake. Yeah. All right. So is there a motion then? I move we approve the dielectric application with the condition as noted. The app will provide catalog cuts or details for the proposed lighting to be placed on the proposed addition prior to the issuance of building permit. For a second? Second. For sure. Those are that okay with you? Any other discussion from the board? Staff okay? All those in favor? And it passes. And Mr. Minutes. Chair, I've given you a draft uh, findings of fact as well. Yeah, you have. Yes, you have. So oh. it follows the same protocol you just went through. I think I have a copy of this, which besides. Perfect. Does it have to be black? Is blue acceptable? I can't think it's reproducing. Right? Black or blue is fine. I have blue. So blue is okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Blue is actually dark. Oh. Man, man, they require dark blue. Legal documents. I think it must have been off the blue. I'll be able to set this up in discussion. Tonight? Yeah. You can. I have a red thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
They're going to sign that. With the plan yeah, yeah. You have yellow with Pat Kier. You sign that when you sign the plan. to sign. Okay. And, the, and that finding code, you can do that when you, you sign. You don't have a mylar with you? I don't, know. So we can sign her mylar at the next meeting. Okay. There's your finding of fact for the record. And get her a copy of the, of the mylar next week, next month. Or if she wants to drop it in the office, they can make sign it. Yeah, if you drop it off, we can have them come in individually if you want. Oh, okay. All right, um, Shelly, you up. Plan of communications, item 6A. I asked the chairman to give me just a moment. Um, I'd like to mark this public hearing to express our gratitude for the 14, 15, 16 years, we're not quite sure yeah, how <laughs> many. Uh, that, he doesn't either at this point. <laughs> Bob O'Neill, his, yeah, his years of service uh, that he has given to the planning board in the town of Raymond. He has served with dedication, integrity, and professionalism. Our town is a better place for his service. His leadership and wisdom will be most be missed by both the board members and town staff. Enjoy the new chapter in your life. Bob, we wish you fair winds and following seas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Thanks. And hurry Get back. Up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Try. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you, guys. So following right along on that is item 6B is, uh, Bruce is not here, but uh, normal elections for chair and vice chair are in June, which is the next meeting. Um, the normal procedure would be um, on my departure that Bruce would take over the next meeting um, for, and conduct the elections. Uh, Bruce is not going to be at the next meeting. Um, he's already said he, he's going to be absent, which means uh, our normal procedure would be then that would fall to the next senior member of the board to conduct conduct that meeting, um, which would be, would be me. Which would be you. Um, or um, the option would be that you could hold um, elections now um, for chair and vice chair, um, and then the, and that whoever gets so elected um, would run the next meeting, unless it was Bruce, of course, in which case um, it would be whoever assumes the position of vice chair. So I'll leave that um, to you guys. I'll, I will only, the only thing I will, I will add to that is that um, when I took over the chair job, I had been on the board for four or five years, um, and it was very beneficial to me having seen um, the, project, the peak project reviews that have gone through when we were in our building phase, um, which is now I'm sure going to be ready to restart, again was very, was helpful. Certainly it is not a requirement and, you know, it's not a job, that, it's a job that any of you could do. So I would certainly not let that stand in your way. Um, so other than that, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide what you want to do. I guess my question would be to our two most senior members left on the board in terms of expressing their interest in these positions. Right, and you may want to wait until Bruce, Bruce is around. around to do that, in which case you could delay the vote until the July meeting, mm -hmm. um, but Greg run the June meeting as a senior member and then hold your elections in July with the full board. And the way we could probably would do that is just have, <coughs> at that meeting, have Greg step up to be voted in as the interim planner for that meeting, just by protocol. You mean the interim chair? Chair, chair. Yes. sorry, not planner. Yeah, yeah you can have my position. <laughs> <laughs> no, interim you can be chair. The chair. Yeah, I could be the chair. No, no, we won't well, do that. Um, no, we just do a, a quick interim vote. Right. Since that's our plan, might I request that our prospective interim chair contact our other senior member? to ascertain interest so that we don't hold off another meeting just because we haven't seen Bruce? I will do that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, you want to yeah. know if Bruce wants the job. Yeah, and then we can resolve those issues at the next meeting once and for all and not have to wait another month. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Thank you. Yep, sounds good to me. Because it all sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so um, in the meantime then, uh, for you guys, um, Bruce, you'd run chair stuff through Bruce yep. um, until actually the me until the July meeting. Right, and then Bruce can communicate through Greg if he's not gonna be here. Right, 
or pass it off to Greg and we'll do one or the other. We'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just have, you know, the I have one piece of just on the information we received this evening. I've mm -hmm. had time to read through that. Um, rather than um, have him come back to the board, I'm just going to recommend that that engineer contact me directly because I think we can work through the point system with what he's proposing. Oh, okay. And, and just under, I don't think he fully understands how we compute that, and I think we can convert that to points to meet the standard. So, believe me, I, my suggestion is that before we bring this back or make any decisions that we'll reach out to their engineer and discuss it. Yeah, that, that's the first negative comment I've ever heard on our point system. But I don't think they understood. I don't think they understand. Yes. I don't think okay. they understand. It's only taken us about five years to understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else tonight? Then yeah, just, just, just the mileage. As far as the mileage before we leave? As far as yeah, upcoming projects, the only other, program? just quickly, oh. the other, we we could have the high wire project maybe coming back in. We probably, in June, it probably will. Uh, which was the uh, medical marijuana on Murray Drive. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That could be coming back. We're not sure where Cedar Lane's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think we have anything. We've had some initial contact, maybe a sketch plan on uh, a disc golf. Oh yeah, that's right. Disc golf. Right, Where? Right next to the high wire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a green area. <laughs> <laughs> She's stealing my thunder. She just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. All right, we have a motion. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done.